Hi, my name is Mama Aizan Lee. Today, we're going to present about our project that is protein structure prediction using recurrent neural network. The overview of the project, uh, the prediction of a protein three-dimensional structure from its amino acid sequence is known as protein structure prediction. Protein structure prediction is one of the most important areas pursued by bioinformatics and theoretical chemistry, and it's crucial for the creation of new enzymes in medicine and industry. The purpose of our project is to make prediction technique easier to use by employing a deep learning system, that is, recurrent neural network. RNN or recurrent neural network have an issue with diminishing gradient making it difficult to learn huge data sequence. Gradients provide information for RNN parameter updates and as the gradient decrease, the parameter change becomes simple, signaling that no significant learning is occurring. The protein data that we will be using is stored in the Kegel website in the topic of secondary uh, protein secondary structure these are the protein data set from the protein data bank of the research collaboratory for structured bioinformatic the main data set lists peptide sequence and their corresponding secondary structure on these two set of data files 218 from 218 uh, PDB intersect and the clean data set. For this presentation, I will present to you and explain to you for the first two steps in this project. The first step is pre-processing by uh, we're going to clean the data, just take the target sequence and drop the unnecessary column or sequence such as duplicates and the second step is differenti uh, differential expression analysis by using modeling tool we're gonna plot the histogram uh, and then we're gonna pick four of the 20 amino acid and plot the distribution and also we're gonna examine the amino acids In the first step of the pre-processing, we will be importing these libraries to use their features. And the second line is to read the data set. And the data set that we will be using is this one. So the first uh, function is the head to check the five uh, first row of the data set. For the data wrangling, we will be pre-processing the data using the drop function. Drop function from pandas to drop the duplicates data or even the column or row that is empty or filled with wrong data. We will also be dropping the unnecessary column that we will be not using for this project. The next step of the data pre-processing is to plot the histogram uh, for the data that we are going to analyze and we will be uh, using the plot function from matplotlib as for the tokenizer from Keras, it will split the sequence that we can test the data to pin out one by one one by one of the result of the sequence so that we can predict the protein structure the data the sequence, our target sequence is this tree and we will be dropping the data that we not gonna use so to plot the histogram using this method this allow the inspection of the data for its length distribution and then categorize the 
type of amino acids by plotting bar chart from the this bar chart we can see that although the examinate amino acid are biased towards the SS3 are biased towards the SS3 character some more heavily than other uh, and they often map to the other two SS3 characters the protein secondary structure depends not on individual amino acids but on the sequential order of the amino acids so for the model development I'm gonna explain to you a bit about the recurring neural network recurring neural network is a type of artificial neural network which use sequential or time series data commonly used for ordinal or temporal problems such as language translation natural language process processing speech recognition and image captioning rnn take information from prior inputs to influence the current input and output output of rnn depend on the prior uh, elements within the sequence now we prepare the data representation for the models we will first break the sequence into three grams three grams using uh, uh, using the tokenizer the first layer the oh. the first layer of neural network will be an embedding layer thus optimizing the data representation by making final step learnable next calculate the maximum length then we pair with tokenizer into uniform length that's all from me and my group mate gonna take it from here so hello my name is Mark Daniel Bayon Aisuf I'm going to continue from the problems so the problems of this topic is that the technique used are all identifying the problem sequence manually it will cause simple mistakes while executing it because it is hard to identify a protein's natural structure from its amino acid sequence and then I'm going to continue to the model evaluation so first of all um, this code is going to define and give creation to split the data then we will need to import the embedding dense time distributed bidirectional GRU and LSTM in order to use the libraries for these two lines uh, we will use it to calculate the hyperparameters about the train data dim dimensions so for the for this for this line it checks the parameter for the operational it will add the embedding dense time distributed and bidirectional and GRU into the layer of GRU so from this output we can see that it has the total of 4, 000, more than 4 millions of parameters so for this model it will look for 15 times because we put the epoch value of 15 so it will test the data and get the accuracy for 15 times and then from this code it will determine the accuracy of the GRU and this code it will predict the model using a new data so it shows the accuracy of 0 0.747 and this is a another method that is called LSTM so it seems like before it will add the embedding bidirectional time distributed to the LSTM layer it has a total of 4 millions of parameters then it will look 10 times because we put the, we put the epoch value to 10 and then it will evaluate the accuracy of the LSTM it shows all the 
result of 0.876 accuracy then last but not least it will test the model and predict the accuracy from a new data it has a 0.753 accuracy prediction last but not least the conclusion so the conclusion of this project is the application of machine learning technique to protein structure has a research, research has a long history models like neural networks and support vector machines have been used to predict one dimensional structural features so the main project the main goal of this project is to create a system that can predict protein structure with more accuracy using deep learning to by assisting the community in learning more about biotechnology and medicine the real reason why we use the LSTM and RNN because it can recall it can recall critical details about the input that they receive thanks to their internal memory, allowing them to anticipate what will happen with next with great accuracy. This is why they are the most used algorithm for dealing with sequential data. Traditionally, the current neural networks have been difficult to train because it solves the challenges of training a recurrent network. The LSTM network is the perhaps the most successful RNNs. It has been the it has been utilized in a wide range of applications, tabular dataset such as those found in a CSV file or spreadsheet are not suitable for recurrent neural networks. They are also unsuitable for the entry of picture data. When working with sequence of words and paragraph known as natural language processing. RNN, RNN in general and LSTM in particular have had the most success. Thank you.